welcome everyone to Georgia National Cemetery. We are going to begin today's ceremony with military honors of the United States Army. At this time, if you are able, please rise for the rendering of taps. Yes, United States, United States Army. Please 
here today to celebrate the life of Philip Edward Johnson, who is with our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. Jesus said, whoever believes in me, that I am the resurrection and the life, will indeed be with me in heaven. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God, our brother in Christ, Philip Edward Johnson. And we commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious unto him. The Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. Amen. May you join me with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for that is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We're gathered. It's truly a pallid, beautiful, and sanctified place to honor Philip Edward Johnson as his son in law. I've had the honor of being asked by his children to say a few words and uh, get to the point. We want to honor Phil as, as he was as a husband, a father, a friend soldier and Christian. And Phil was a man that did meet his obligations. He met his obligations to his to God, to his country, and to his family. To God he was baptized at a very early age and he, he served in his church as an elder. To his country he gave 15 years of his life active and in him. With his family well, we could go on and on, but to be brief, he walked through the heartbreak of losing two wives too soon. Uh, he raised three children, never walked away from them, offered them assistance, even his grown children when he needed it. Uh, he was, uh, of course, burdened in their trials, but he was he was proud and rejoiced in their, in their triumphs. All of them. Scott, Sandy, and Sharon. Uh, he's also a very devoted father to his mother. In her later years, he attended every need that she, she had. He was there when she needed. But now, we can't say perfection was his to claim, just like it is uh, with uh, all of us. At times, uh, we all believe that his middle initial E didn't really stand for E. We 
kind of thought it stood for exasperation. <laughs> you know, he uh, he could uh, he could really get things going. Bill was uh, he was too agreeable a lot of the times, bowing to other people's you know requests, demands, to the point of uh, of being fault in that. And a lot of times that would lead to friction from his family because they all wanted to be protected. They wanted to come to his rescue. But you know, at the end of the day. I think we all prefer not to see that as a weakness in Phil. What we saw was Phil's love of man. Phil was a true peacemaker. Phil wanted to love people, and he wanted, of course, to be loved in return. But he, uh, deep in his soul, he had a deep, deep love for his fellow man. Now, the last year of his life wasn't exactly pleasant. The fact is, it was to be considered torn in. He was, because of COVID, he was trapped 2,000 miles away from his, his children. And uh, he, uh, he suffered in that, in that situation greatly. But, but praise God, before, before he uh, passed, two of his children were able to go see him, Sandy and Scott. And they came back with a, a lot of positive thoughts, even though they saw their dad. And, and what they knew was his last visit. And uh, at the last visit, Phil, you know, he gave his children the greatest gift he could give them. And that was the assurance that Christ, Christ Jesus, was his Savior, that he was saved. Uh, this service here today is the end of one story, and that story being John, uh, Phil Johnson's life in this world. But a new story began on August the 7th, 2021, year ago, that's when he went to be the Lord. That's when he entered into eternal rest with his Lord and Jesus Christ. With this knowledge, the hearts of Sharon, Scott, and Sandy, and everyone else has been opened and filled. They have a promise of rejoicing, rejoining field in paradise in the loving arms of Christ. Now I conclude with the, the words of Christ from John 14, 1, 3. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God, trust also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you. But I'm going to prepare a place for you. And I will come back and take you to be with me so maybe where I am. We love you together.
Chairman, I do want to say on behalf of our team here.